Allison from Phoenix, Arizona. With the holidays just around the corner, I wanted to show you a really cute and really easy gift idea. Everything that you would need to have a little pedicure night, I call it mistletoes. I am including a homemade peppermint foot soak. So easy to make. You're gonna need three quarter cup of Epsom salt, a quarter cup of baking soda, two tablespoons of peppermint tea, and some peppermint essential oil. Mix it all together. I like to use a fork to get in between the salt pieces. Put it into a jar with an airtight lid and it's ready to go. I like to include a recipe card with this as well, so I just made one up really quick. So let's put it all together. I'm gonna start with some cotton balls on the bottom. It kind of looks like snow. The paper shreds are always fun in a gift basket because they can really fill up a lot of space. The mistletoes, hard some nail polish remover, nail files, toe separators, nail polish colors, cute Christmas socks, and that's it. So easy, so quick. Everyone's mistletoes needs a little extra help during the holidays. Hi, Rach, this is Sarah from York, Pennsylvania, and I love the holidays. I love to give gifts, and specifically homemade gifts. This gift is a soup in a jar. All the recipient has to do is add some stock to a pot, dump the soup in, and they have a warm, delicious soup. Great for the holidays. We're gonna make a curry lentil wild rice soup. So in goes a quarter cup of lentils, quarter cup of wild rice mix, a quarter cup of minced onion, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Where did my garlic powder go? Hang on guys, where'd it go? It was right here. In goes our half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put in what would be about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. And then we're going to do it all again, but we're gonna do it in reverse order. If we're feeling festive, which we are, we're going to add a little bit of zhuzh along with some twine. And then I printed out for you guys this little instruction sheet. Now you can write Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas on the back, but on the front are the instructions for your recipient to use the soup. And we're good to go. You guys ready to do another one? Hi, Rach. It's Erin from Marietta, Georgia. And I'm here with my sidekick, Julius. Hi. And we all know that the holiday season is a special time to give someone gifts that you made with love. Mm -hmm. So what better way to show someone how much you love them than with a personalized ornament? For this project, you'll need a set of clear plastic ornaments, ground glitter in the color of your choice, water-based polyurethane, a small paintbrush, a pair of scissors, a household syringe, a funnel set in various sizes, burlap strips to hang your ornaments, a few paper towels. And we can't forget the most important element, the family photos. Using your smallest size funnel, take an ink pen and trace around that funnel to give you a circular picture. You'll cut around the photo. Just roll it up and pop it in. Next, using your plastic syringe, you'll take the polycrylic and take some into the syringe and drop it in like so. You'll just turn it over onto your paper towel and let any of the excess polyurethane drain out. Julius, what glitter color would you like to go with? Gold. Take your largest funnel with the largest hole, take your glitter, and drop it in like so. Then you just shake it all around inside of the ornament until it's fully covered. And now you have a nicely coated ornament. 